Okay. Hey guys, how you doing? <laughs> How's everybody? Oh, I'm hanging in there. <laughs> well, I just tried that cloud effect on a 16 by 20 and I forgot to torch it. And I think that really matters. Because I can't figure out why it's not clouding up. It didn't cloud up. Well, it did. But it was just way too much white. And then it wouldn't, there was not enough paint too. So I ended up stretching it out to what it is now. And I like it. But personally, I don't think, I think it was because I didn't torch, I torched it afterwards. But I think torching it. Before you spread it, it's real important because that's what creates the clouds, pops the clouds up. I'm thinking. So I'm going to try it again. But I thought I'd show you what my efforts turned into. It's very pretty. <laughs> really pretty. Phalo blue. Um, light violet and what else did i use sky blue master's touch it's still pretty dumb so i'm digging that <laughs> i like how it has this kind of like feathered look right in there and i do like the middle of the ring this time See, it's got all that blue right in there. Pretty neat. I like it. So, that's a keeper. I'm going to go put that in my uh, tray real quick, and I'll be right back. Okay, so, and it could be, I started thinking, that first base coat needs to be thin. And this is not that thin, but I just covered it anyway with what I had. I just thought about it after I covered it, so <laughs> but we'll see. All right, so let me just give a little torch there. All right, here we go again. Yeah, I don't know why it didn't. And it might have been because I didn't torch it. But I'm going to try it again. So I got Ultramarine. need probably about four ounces that's it because we've got a base coat here and it's a 12 by 16 okay all right so the ultramarine the cloud paint which is a lot but i don't know then this was light blue uh hold on just a second i forgot oh jeez come on sherry where's the container i think it's light blue i mean light purple but now i can't find the container oh here it is artist loft light violet <laughs> who knows this is cobalt blue artist loft flow and then a mixture of whatever i had left of the phthalo blue <laughs> a little white Ultramarine Violet Satin Enamel Deco Art And I'll tell you what I did If this works <laughs> Okay Cobalt blue, 
Let's put a little ultramarine on top of it. A little bit more white. <clears throat> well, I'll tell you real quick that way. Okay, so I used one part of this deco art satin enamel, one part of Artist Loft Flow, and one part Flow Troll, and 20% water, purified water. Then in my colors are mixed with two parts Flow Troll, one part paint, and just a little water. Okay. But yeah, I forgot to torch it afterwards, and I wonder, I mean, once I did my ring pour, then I forgot to torch it. And I wonder if that has anything to do with it. Because I didn't see any clouds until I spread it, then some came out around the sides, but not in the middle. It was all white. So I'm going to try it again. Here we go. How you can do it one time and then not the next when I did the same. Then again, maybe my ratio or the consistencies were different. Like I said, my base coat. Uh, is thicker than last time too. Because I watched my video. We'll see. It's a real bummer though. I wanted the center to be a little bit dark here, so. Okay, there comes that white. I was just sweating on this painting. Okay, so now I'm just gonna torch it like I did in my video. <coughs> and this is what I forgot the last time. God, see, I think that has something to do with it. Look at all those specks. Doesn't who knows? I told you good now that I forgot it the last one. That was a real bummer. All that paint. So if this don't work out, I'm done. Stretch that cloud. That's working. See, it's the torching, guys. I did not torch that last one. I was going to stretch this down just a little bit right here. That's it. Leave it alone. Okay. 
What's up? <laughs> That's pretty tripping. Yeah. If I would have just torched that last one. Oops, that's specked up. I don't want to do that. Let's let it puff up naturally here. See, that gives some white specks, and I don't want those. So, leave that alone. Oh, yeah, just blow it on it, because there's so much of that paint in there. All right, so I'll just let this sit there for a few seconds, okay? And I'll pause it. See what it does. <laughs> okay, so I got something. <laughs> but, yeah, it's kind of discouraged in a way, even though I like that last painting. But if I would have just torched it before I turned it, that, I really know, made the difference. And I thought of it afterwards. And I'm like, what did I do different? And I looked at my video and I'm like, oh my gosh, I think I forgot to torch it. So, it looks like it might still even keep selling up some. And, yeah, because it looks like there's a lot of little tiny ones in there. See, and I think those are going to grow. So it's not thick at all. And I'm not really, I'm not that sad about that middle. It's kind of tripping. Big, puffy, puffy, fluffy cloud. All right, so let's take a look here. Let's see, so, yeah, I did torch it afterwards and I'm thinking yeah maybe I need to torch it and let those little ones so you can see some specks I think they're gonna grow and here comes a mosquito this is pretty tripping well at least I can say I like my last painting and it wasn't complete failure I love the last one. It was very pretty to find beautiful lines. Pretty neat, huh? But yeah, I'm a little disappointed just because I forgot that. Man. You know? I just remembered that I would have had a bigger one, but that's well, okay. I can do more. I just want some more to go, and at least I got something here to say, call for. So, all right, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to torch before you spread it or tilt your thing. So, yeah, I don't think it's the base coat that had anything to do with it. My base coat obviously was fine because it worked out the second time. So it wasn't nothing to do with the base cup. It definitely was torching it, drawing up those clouds. The satin does something. And the oils or something or whatever is in the satin. I don't know. Okay, guys, take it easy. Uh, like, share, and subscribe if you'd like to. And have a great weekend, okay? Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys later. Bye-bye now.